Okay, a couple of videos today. Um, ancestral sin. Ancestral sin on the basis of uh, trauma, family trauma. So what is ancestral sin? So let's break it down into the, the simple, simplest form. Your father was an abusive, aggressive, violent man. So you learned that behavior. He learned that behavior of his father, who is now your grandfather. Yet yeah, the grandfather that you know is not like that with you. He's now trying to make up for his behavior to his own children. But at the same time, he now tries to chastise his own children for their behavior towards you. The abuser cannot chastise the abused who's now become the abuser. Ancestral sin. The basics. So, for those of us that have been through abuse, whether that's mental, physical, psychological, okay, mental, physical, psychological, it's all the same shit, right? So whether it's psychological, physical, or mental, whether that's... Um, non-physical or physical abuse or psychological abuse which i think is worse you know your body recovers but psychologically you may never recover this is something that i'm learning and i have to accept i may never fully recover from the psychological abuse that i have been through physically my body will recover from the physical abuse but the psychological side of going through that abuse, I may never recover from that fully. And this is something I have to accept, you know. And it's very, very difficult to understand that. And breaking the chain or breaking the chain of ancestral sin. Okay. Not becoming the parent, the abuser, the violent drunk individual, the man that will come into your bedroom and whisper down your fucking ear, my marriage breaks up, this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen and you're gonna fucking suffer. You know who you are, you bastard. I'm just waiting, I am just waiting. The moment she passes away, you're done. Understand that, you're done. And the reality of your mother then using you as a weapon against your own siblings and then you taking beatings and other shit for your siblings and then growing up and seeing that ancestral sin throughout your family I'm thinking fucking hell no now the reality of that is getting to speak to a couple of my nieces and nephews recently after one of my nieces funerals is a lot of them are having forms of counseling and under psychologists that's my nieces and nephews but i think the benefit of that is they're sorting their shit because they got babies and they got little kids and they're understanding they don't need to pass that shit on and it stops with them and they're going to heal themselves and they're going to fix themselves and it's really sad because how many generations upon generations has it been going on especially within my own family never mind your families and it was just acceptable it was part of the norm when in reality it was never acceptable and it wasn't normal and a lot of us realized when we stepped away from our homes, our, our area, and we were looking upon other families and saw how their work, workings or inner workings on an open display of how they treated their children and loved their children and going around to people's houses and going, this ain't normal. Because I wasn't used to that normality. Do you know what I mean? 
and the reality of what that does to you as a person like it's done stuff to me it's going to do stuff to you it's like emotionally fucked me up it's affected me amazingly over all my life and it's now come into a head and I'm struggling to deal with that I have to now speak to my therapist and go look man your shit ain't working because you know you may assume that you're ticking boxes and high-fiving yourself but my reality is I'm hyper aware of what you've been trying to do and I'm not going to allow you to do that but then is that a side effect of my my trauma and what we call the ancestral sin being passed on the refusal to accept the healing process I don't think it's a case of refusing to accept the healing process I think it's a case of understanding how to deal with what I've got and once I understand how to deal with that shit it's always going to be there and I've been pretty successful at controlling it throughout my life but what's the nicest way of putting it there's a lot of you people that are walking around still fucking breathing because I didn't kill you and you never saw the devil in front of you and you didn't realise what you'd done. There's a lot of people walking around with the reality of the fact that I sat outside your house. I studied you for months and sometimes years. Everything that you did at an optimum point that if I chose to, I could have fucking ended you for the way you treated me. I'll let you sink that in. I'll let you think about it. And I know for you, a lot of you boys and girls out there, you will have had the same type of anger and focus. And it's not even bitterness, it's a hatred. It's a hatred for what people have done to you and the fact they have got away with it because the reality is the law is shit. The law wouldn't do anything anyway. I see this day in and day out. So how do we stop the ancestral sin? that is passed on from generation to generation. We, the ones that are survivors of abuse, of torture, of manipulation, of sexual exploitation, and whatever else is out there, what some of you guys have experienced, have the choice to stand up, to fight back, to become strong, to be pillars a fucking rock in an ocean of devastation to be able to have for people to come. We have the ability to pick up other people and help them as much as possible. And why do we do that? Because we are fucking survivors. We understand what it is to survive. We understand what it is to have to drag ourselves out of bed day by day by day when the fucking darkness is screaming inside your head and you want to do wicked things to people. We understand that. And we make the choice every day not to harm people. We make the choice every day not to allow that negativity that they haven't caused, but they may say or do something that will trigger that in such a way that you want to really hurt them. And you don't. You try to become the healer, the protector, which I am, right? And I will not tolerate anybody stepping on my toes. You step on my toes, I'm going to break yours. And this is not about trauma. This is about me not allowing anybody to hurt me anymore. And this is not about my ancestral sin that has come from the family because it's not my fucking sin it's my father's sin it's my mother's sin it's my grandfather's sin i don't carry those they're not mine that is theirs and theirs alone to deal with i have survived the sins of those people upon me i have survived the sins of my family upon me i have survived the traumas and the tribulations of my life and some of my own choices, life choices where I got into some very sticky situations and I'm lucky to be here to have conversations 
with you guys. Ancestral sin stops with your parents. It's up to you if you have suffered the, the trauma and the agony of any form of abuse to make it stop with you, to understand it, to prevent it, you know, to reach out to other people and go, I am here, I am a survivor. I am not going to allow that to happen to anybody else.